In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked by MasterCard. These questions are designed to assess your skills, experience, and fit for the company culture. We will also provide insightful answers to help you prepare effectively. By understanding these key topics, you can boost your confidence and improve your chances of success in the interview process. 1. How would you design a secure digital payment system that minimizes fraud risk? To design a secure digital payment system, I would implement a multi-layered security approach. This includes using encryption for data transmission, tokenization to protect sensitive information, and implementing biometric authentication for user verification. Machine learning algorithms can analyze transaction patterns in real-time, identifying anomalies that may indicate fraud. Regular security audits and compliance with industry standards, such as PCI DSS, are critical. User education on fraud prevention and secure practices also plays an essential role in minimizing risk. 2. Describe your experience applying machine learning to enhance product features. My experience with machine learning focuses on utilizing predictive analytics to improve product features. In a recent project, I developed a recommendation system that analyzed user behavior and preferences, enhancing personalization within the app. By employing algorithms such as collaborative filtering and natural language processing, I was able to identify patterns that shaped user experience. This system not only increased user engagement but also drove an uptick in conversion rates. Collaborating with cross-functional teams, I integrated machine learning models seamlessly into existing infrastructure, allowing for real-time updates and ongoing improvements based on user feedback. 3. What approaches would you take to optimize the performance of a large-scale payment processing system? To optimize the performance of a large-scale payment processing system, I would focus on several key strategies. First, implementing load balancing can distribute transactions evenly across servers, reducing bottlenecks. Second, I would utilize caching mechanisms to store frequently accessed data for faster retrieval. Third, adopting microservices architecture allows for independent scaling of components based on demand. Additionally, I would conduct regular performance testing to identify and address any latency issues. Continuous monitoring and refining based on real-time analytics will ensure sustained performance improvement. 4. How would you implement real-time fraud detection for credit card transactions? Implementing real-time fraud detection for credit card transactions involves several key steps. First, I would utilize machine learning algorithms to analyze transaction patterns and identify anomalies. This system would be trained on historical transaction data, allowing it to learn normal behavior and flag suspicious activities. Additionally, I would incorporate multi-factor authentication to verify user identity during high-risk transactions. Real-time data feeds from external sources, such as device information and geolocation, would enhance risk assessment. Lastly, establishing a feedback loop for continuous improvement of the model is crucial, ensuring rapid adaptation to emerging fraud tactics. 5. Explain the concept of tokenization in payment security and how you would implement it. Tokenization is a process that replaces sensitive payment information, like credit card numbers, with unique identifiers called tokens. These tokens can be used in place of the actual data during transactions, enhancing security. To implement tokenization, I would first assess the existing payment infrastructure and identify sensitive data points. Next, I would integrate a tokenization service that generates tokens in real-time during transactions. This system would store the mapping of tokens to sensitive data securely, ensuring that only authorized systems can access the original information. Regular audits and compliance checks would help maintain security standards. 6. Tell me about a time when you had to work as part of a cross-functional team. In one project, I collaborated with product, engineering, and marketing teams to launch a new payment feature. Each team had distinct goals and perspectives, so we established regular meetings to align our objectives. I facilitated discussions to ensure everyone's input was valued, highlighting the importance of integrating technical capabilities with user experience. By fostering open communication, we identified potential challenges early and developed creative solutions. The launch was successful, exceeding our user adoption targets, demonstrating the power of cross-functional collaboration. 7. Describe a situation where you negotiated a win-win outcome. In my previous role, I led a project involving multiple stakeholders with differing priorities. During a critical phase, the marketing and product teams had conflicting timelines for a new feature launch. I organized a meeting where both sides could express their concerns and objectives. By actively listening, I identified overlapping interests and proposed a phased rollout that allowed the marketing team to prepare campaigns while giving the product team additional time for refinement. This solution satisfied both teams, resulting in a successful launch that met market demands and enhanced collaboration between departments. 8. How do you manage dependencies across different teams? Managing dependencies across different teams requires clear communication and collaboration. I start by identifying key stakeholders and establishing regular check-ins to discuss progress and challenges. Utilizing project management tools can help visualize dependencies and timelines, 
ensuring everyone is aligned. I foster a culture of transparency, encouraging teams to share updates and ask for help when needed. Additionally, I prioritize tasks based on urgency and impact, allowing teams to stay focused while accommodating interdependencies effectively. Building strong relationships with other teams is essential for navigating challenges and achieving shared goals. 9. Give an example of a creative idea you implemented. How did you come up with it? One creative idea I implemented was the introduction of a gamified reward system for our loyalty program. I noticed that customer engagement was low, so I brainstormed ways to incentivize interaction. By incorporating game mechanics, like points for purchases, challenges, and leaderboards, we transformed the program into an engaging experience. I conducted surveys and analyzed user behavior to ensure the system aligned with customer interests. This approach not only increased participation but also enhanced customer retention and satisfaction, leading to a measurable boost in sales. 10. Tell me about a project where you made a significant impact using data-driven decision-making. In my previous role, I spearheaded a project aimed at reducing customer churn rates for a subscription service. By analyzing user behavior data, I identified key patterns indicating when customers were likely to cancel. Implementing targeted email campaigns based on these insights led to a 25% increase in retention rates over three months. Additionally, I collaborated with the product team to enhance features that aligned with user feedback, resulting in higher engagement and satisfaction levels. This project demonstrated the power of leveraging data for informed decision-making and tangible results. 11. Describe a time when you had to influence a difficult stakeholder. In my previous role, I encountered a stakeholder who was resistant to adopting a new software tool that promised to streamline our workflow. To influence them, I organized a meeting where I presented data showcasing the tool's benefits, including time savings and efficiency improvements. I also arranged a live demonstration, allowing them to see its capabilities firsthand. By addressing their concerns and integrating their feedback into the implementation plan, I was able to gain their support, leading to a successful rollout and enhanced team productivity. 12. What do you know about MasterCard and why do you want to work here? MasterCard is a global leader in payment technology, known for its innovation and commitment to secure transactions. The company's focus on enhancing customer experiences and driving financial inclusion aligns with my values. I admire MasterCard's efforts in leveraging technology to create seamless payment solutions while prioritizing security. I want to work here because I am passionate about contributing to a company that is shaping the future of digital payments and making a positive impact on people's lives through financial empowerment. 13. How do you think you can contribute to MasterCard's mission and values? I can contribute to MasterCard's mission and values by leveraging my expertise in technology and data analytics to enhance payment security and user experience. My focus on innovation aligns with MasterCard's commitment to providing secure, reliable, and inclusive financial solutions. By collaborating across teams, I will help drive initiatives that support financial inclusion and empower underserved markets. Additionally, my dedication to ethical practices ensures that I prioritize customer trust and satisfaction in every project, fostering a culture of integrity and accountability within the organization. 14. What interests you most about the role, department you're applying for? I am particularly drawn to the role because of the opportunity to work at the intersection of technology and finance. The department's focus on innovative payment solutions aligns with my passion for enhancing user experiences through technology. I am excited about the potential to contribute to projects that drive financial inclusion and optimization of digital transactions. Collaborating with a talented team that values creativity and data-driven decision-making is something I find inspiring, as it fosters an environment where impactful solutions can emerge. The prospect of being part of a forward-thinking organization like MasterCard is exciting and motivating. 15. Where do you see yourself in five years if you join MasterCard? In five years, I envision myself taking on a leadership role within MasterCard, leveraging my skills and experience to drive innovative projects that enhance our payment solutions. I aim to contribute significantly to the development of cutting-edge technologies that improve user experience and security. By collaborating with cross-functional teams, I hope to mentor others and foster a culture of continuous learning. My goal is to be at the forefront of initiatives that empower underserved markets, ensuring that MasterCard remains a leader in financial inclusivity and customer satisfaction. 16. How would you approach designing a new financial product for underserved markets? Designing a new financial product for underserved markets requires a deep understanding of the target audience's unique needs and challenges. First, I would conduct thorough market research, including surveys and focus groups, to gather insights about their financial behaviors and pain points. Collaborating with community leaders and organizations can help refine the product concept. Next, I would prioritize user-friendly features and accessibility, ensuring that the product is available through various channels, including mobile platforms. Finally, I would implement a feedback loop for continuous improvement, adapting the product based on user experiences and evolving market conditions. 17. What strategies would you use to increase adoption of contactless payments? 
To increase adoption of contactless payments, I would focus on three key strategies. First, enhancing consumer education through targeted marketing campaigns that highlight the convenience, security, and speed of contactless transactions. Partnerships with retailers can help demonstrate usage in real-world scenarios. Second, incentivizing both merchants and consumers by offering rewards or discounts for using contactless payments can create a compelling reason to adopt this technology. Lastly, collaborating with financial institutions to ensure seamless integration and support can build trust and encourage usage among customers who may be hesitant. 18. How would you improve the customer experience for disputing a transaction? Improving the customer experience for disputing a transaction involves simplifying the process and enhancing communication. First, I would create an intuitive online portal where customers can easily submit disputes with clear guidelines and options. Additionally, implementing a real-time chat feature would allow customers to connect with support representatives for immediate assistance. Regular updates via SMS or email on the status of their dispute would keep customers informed and reduce anxiety. Lastly, gathering feedback post-resolution can help identify pain points and continuously refine the process. 19. Describe your leadership style and how you motivate team members. Leadership for me centers on collaboration and empowerment. I believe in creating an inclusive environment where team members feel valued and heard. I motivate my team by setting clear goals, providing the necessary resources, and encouraging open communication. Regular feedback sessions help in recognizing achievements and addressing challenges promptly. I also promote professional development by facilitating opportunities for skill enhancement. By fostering a culture of trust and accountability, I inspire my team to take ownership of their work and strive for excellence. 20. How do you handle conflicts within a team? Handling conflicts within a team involves active listening, empathy, and open communication. I first encourage all parties to express their viewpoints without interruption, ensuring everyone feels heard. Then, I facilitate a discussion to identify the root cause of the conflict. It's essential to focus on the issue, not the individuals involved. Together, we explore solutions that address everyone's concerns. Emphasizing common goals helps in guiding the conversation toward resolution. After reaching an agreement, I follow up to ensure that the solution is working effectively and that relationships have improved. 21. Give an example of how you've mentored or coached others. I had the opportunity to mentor a junior data analyst who was struggling with data visualization techniques. I organized weekly one-on-one -on -one sessions where we reviewed her projects and discussed best practices in data storytelling. I provided her with resources and practical exercises to enhance her skills. Over time, I noticed significant improvements in her ability to present complex data clearly and effectively. By the end of our mentorship, she successfully led a presentation to stakeholders, receiving positive feedback for her engaging style and insights. This experience reinforced my belief in the power of mentorship in professional growth. 22. How do you stay updated on the latest trends in fintech and payments? Staying updated on the latest trends in fintech and payments involves a multifaceted approach. I regularly read industry publications like Finextra, Payment Source, and the Financial Times. Attending webinars, conferences, and networking events helps me gain insights from industry leaders. I also participate in online forums and communities, such as LinkedIn groups focused on fintech innovations. Subscribing to newsletters and following key influencers on social media platforms allows me to keep abreast of emerging technologies and regulatory changes that could impact the landscape. 23. Describe a time when you had to quickly adapt to a major change. In my previous role, our company underwent a sudden shift to a fully remote work environment due to external circumstances. This required rapid adjustments in communication styles and project management. I quickly embraced new collaboration tools like Slack and Asana, ensuring that my team remained connected and aligned on tasks. To facilitate this transition, I initiated regular virtual check-ins and encouraged open dialogue to address any concerns. This proactive approach not only enhanced team morale but also maintained productivity during a challenging period. Adapting swiftly enabled us to meet project deadlines without compromising quality. 24. How would you drive innovation within your team at MasterCard? Driving innovation within my team at MasterCard would involve fostering a culture of creativity and open communication. I would encourage team members to share ideas without fear of rejection, utilizing brainstorming sessions and regular feedback loops. Emphasizing collaboration across departments can spark new perspectives. I would also prioritize staying informed on industry trends and emerging technologies. Implementing a structured approach to experimentation, such as developing prototypes and testing them in real-world scenarios, would help us refine ideas and bring impactful solutions to fruition. 25. What emerging technology do you think will have the biggest impact on the payments industry? The emergence of blockchain technology stands out as a transformative force in the payments industry. Its decentralized nature enhances security, reduces transaction costs, and enables faster cross-border payments. Smart contracts can automate and streamline transactions, minimizing the need for intermediaries. 
Additionally, advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning are crucial for fraud detection and personalized customer experiences. These technologies combined can foster greater transparency and trust, driving innovation and efficiency in payment systems across the globe. In this video, we've explored the top 25 MasterCard interview questions and their corresponding answers, equipping you with the insights needed to excel in your interview preparation. Remember, thorough preparation can make a significant difference in your performance, so take the time to understand these questions deeply. If you found this content helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights and tips. Your support helps us continue to create quality content that assists you on your career journey. Thank you for watching.